Righto, Taliode Champs, and my man, lover of tech, I'll leave a link in the description to his channel and go check out one of his videos, and he's not liking the performance of the PC when it comes to off-power performance. So I decided, let's test it out. Let's test. The XPS 15 on the left, the Lenovo Legion 7i in the middle, and on the right, the MacBook Pro 16. Now, the specs aren't really important. What we need to know is how they're going to perform off battery, how much watts can they actually put out once you unplug them. And I've got to say, I've been testing it. I've got a lot of results here and it's very surprising. It's not what you think. Now, we already know the Mac, doesn't matter if it's plugged in or not plugged in, it performs exactly the same. Now, Apple have been clever in designing this because it's actually only a 97 watt package and it can sustain about 75 watts total system after boosting's over. It performs exactly the same on battery as it does plugged in. Now the XPS 17, it's a 130 watt package and it can maintain about 80, 85 watts when it's plugged in, right? The Lenovo Legion, now this thing is an absolute beast. From memory, I think it's 230 watts. That's the power brick, you know, it's RTX 2070. No battery is going to produce this sort of power and it can maintain well in excess of 100 watts, like we're talking 130, 140 watts. It's just well beyond what the XPS 17 and the MacBook Pro can do. Total system capacity, that just maintains those sort of watts. I mean, it does 90, 100 watts, just the GPU. The CPU will do 90 watts as well if you just peg that alone. So it uses a lot more power. It's more powerful. It's a gaming laptop. That's how it is. So when we unplug them, what happens? Now I did go into the settings and change to the best like power settings I could do on both of them. You've got to remember Windows laptops, is it Optimus, isn't it? You've got the, you know, the built-in software that controls the power or you can go into the power manager in Windows and I actually tried to use Ultimate Power, which is like a little hack to try and get the maximum power out of it. Still doesn't matter. Yeah, you're going to take a haircut, but it's not what you think. It's actually very close when you actually break it down. So let's break it down. Let's first talk about the GPU. Okay, the XPS 17 will maintain 50 watts, get a score of around 10,700 in Luxmark. That's using that 50 watts. The Legion, 105 watts. It gets a score around 24,000 in Luxmark. The MacBook Pro, 50 watts, and it gets a score of 21,000 in Luxmark. Now the Mac, we already know, performs exactly the same when you unplug it. The XPS 17 goes down to 30 watts. So it's using from 50, now down to 30 watts once you unplug it. It's a score of 9,700. So it's only 1,000 less, but it is 30 watts compared to 50 watts. The Legion, yeah, that takes a nice haircut. Goes down from 105 watts to 55 watts. Still gets a score of 21,000 in Luxmark, which is actually less than the MacBook Pro, which only uses 50 watts. So think about this. That's an RTX 2070. In that Legion, it's using five more watts than the Mac, and it scores less. So I think this tells a story that that 5,600M in the MacBook Pro, what for what? Well, according to this test at least, it's faster than the 2070. So 55 watts, 2070, 21,000. 50 watts, that's 5 watts less on the MacBook Pro, 5600M, 21600. So it's in margin of error territory there, basically the same score, but the Legion is using 5 watts more and it's a 2070. So that just shows you how powerful that 2060M is in the MacBook Pro. That's beside the point. Anyway, let's get into Cinebench. Now the XPS 17 does 67 watts. That's what it's sort of maintaining at the end of the Cinebench run. And that's a score of 3,000. That's good because it is a 6-core compared to the other two laptops that are 8-cores. That's a good score for a 6-core. The Legion, 90 watts it's pushing at the end of Cinebench. It does a score of 4,000. Wow, that's some serious power there. It does have 8 cores, of course, but that's 90 watts. Now, the MacBook Pro, around 60, 65 watts, somewhere around there, gets a score of 3,600. That's really good. I got a good one, trust me. Because usually they might do 3, 4 if you're lucky. So that's on battery, of course. Now, let's unplug it. With the XPS 17, you get a score of 2,700 unplugged. So it only loses 300 points. And it maintains about 45 watts at the end of Cinebench. So unplugged, the XPS 17 can use 45 watts on the CPU. The Legion, whoa. This takes a big haircut, goes down to 25 watts. It sort of makes sense. It's a gaming laptop. 
Yes, they'll give you 55 watts on a GPU unplugged, but the CPU, they're only giving you 25 watts. So it goes down to a score of 2,545. So that is slower than the XPS 17 unplugged. Obviously, it's 25 watts versus 45 watts. It does have an extra two cores, but because they're only giving it 25 watts, that's a massive haircut from 4,000 to 2,500. Mac, we know, plugged in, same, 60 watts, 65 watts, whatever, 3,600. Same score unplugged. So, okay, you're thinking here, well, the Mac's the winner. Well, it's not quite that simple. Let's hit the GPU and CPU together. And here, I was very surprised because when you hit the CPU and GPU together, they're all within 5 watts. So, the XPS 17 will use a total of 75 watts. So, that's 45 watts CPU. It favours the CPU over the GPU and it gives you 30 watts on the GPU. That's simultaneously run together, so that's a total of 75 watts. Now, the Legion uses 70 watts total compared to 75 on the XPS 17. But the wattage on the CPU drops even more, so it goes down to 15 watts CPU, 55 watts GPU for a total of 70 watts. Now the MacBook Pro hits CPU and GPU. Once the boosts are over, it does the same plugged in or not plugged in. 25 watts on the CPU, 50 watts on the GPU. That's 75 watts. So overall, total system on battery, hammering both CPU and GPU, there's virtually no difference. 75 watts XPS 17, 70 watts Legion, it is the lowest, and 75 watts the Mac. But the difference here is the Mac is running full speed how it runs on battery, whereas the other ones are taking a haircut. They can sustain more power. The XPS 17 can do 85 watts total. So it's dropped 10 watts from, you know, when it's plugged in. The Legion takes a massive haircut of 70 watts. Yeah, it can be using 130, 140 watts. But unplugged, it's only going to use half that 70 watts, so it's the lowest. So it takes the biggest performance hit. So at the end of the day, it's not fair to really say that the Mac is some sort of magical thing where it just performs better on battery. It's just because it's a lower power unit. It only uses 75 watts total when you hit it as hard as you can. The XPS 17 could do 85. It's not that much really, is it? And the Legion, of course, it drops a huge amount, like half the amount of wattage. Now, I guess the Mac just has the better balance. It's just performing the same as it does when it's plugged in. So it's going to depend on what you're doing. I suspect for video editing now that it's gone now to, you know, using the GPU, probably the Mac and the Legion will perform the best for rendering. In the timeline, maybe the XPS 17 because you get more watts on the CPU and the MacBook Pro will perform equally as well. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. I'll catch you in the next one. Tally ho.